What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I would like to talk about ranking up in the online mode and how to make this a bit of a faster process. Now these are some of the things that I do personally. I'm sure there's other ways to rank up quickly out there. So if you have any other ways to rank up a little bit faster, definitely leave them down in the comment section below so everybody can see those and kind of take them and help themselves out with these methods. But first of all, I think hunting is a good way to rank up because, of course, you get the kill uh, XP for the kill. And also, if you check your bar before you go skin the animal, you know you will notice you do get some XP for skinning these animals as well. Even though it does not show it in the corner, but you will get XP for skinning the animal. So definitely kill all the animals you can find, keep the skins that you want. But even if it's an animal that you do not want to keep, make sure you go skin it just to get that extra little bit of XP. So I found, a, I found a good hunting route in several different locations personally for myself that work well. I can hunt, also make some money at the same time, but also gain some XP. That way you can do these quick hunting routes and that way you'll be able to, to kill a lot of animals, make a little bit of money, and also be able to gain a good bit of XP and rank up a lot quicker than I would have expected until I really started paying attention to how much XP I was gaining. Now the next thing is gang hideouts. Now gang hideouts are good because they're pretty quick and you will get the XP for defeating the enemies and also there's sometimes a, a little loot box that you might find something in or just some other items around these camps or areas where these enemies are located and you can find these things to keep in your inventory. So these work well uh, also for ranking up. Now if you do know all the locations for the gang hideouts this is definitely good because you can just go from one to the other. Now, one that does work well, of course, is Stranger Missions, if you can get them to work correctly. A lot of times you will accept the mission, and even though you accept it, it will not start the mission, or you may have the issue I do. I can go to every single stranger in the game, and the button, you know, on PlayStation 4, it's square to accept. It's just grayed out. And the only way I can get this to work properly is restart. But, of course, as you do know, this game does have connectivity issues, and it seems like whenever I have to restart the game, that's when I start really having the problem of it kicking me out 24-7. I'll just say that fall to the Rockstar server, you know, thing, and just keep giving you those connection issues. So if I can get in the game and play, I try to stay in here, so I try to avoid restarting the game as, as little as possible. So unless you can get Stranger Missions to work correctly for you all the time, those are not really that great because of the reason they may bug out and you have to travel around the map for 20 or 30 minutes to find a stranger mission that will work correctly. Now, the other thing that I really have found that works really well is the showdown series. Of course, this is the PVP mode, but there is one exception to this. If you're a person that is really good at this mode and you can finish consistently at the top or the top couple players, you can gain a ton of XP. If you are an MVP of every single round, you will rank up quicker than any other way in this game. But that does, you know, kind of consist of you being that top player game in and game out. So if you're not a fan of PvP, this may not be for you. But if you are a fan of PvP and you can consistently finish at the top, I would definitely check out the Showdown series because you can, because you can rank up extremely quickly. And last but not least, this one is kind of boring. But it does work, and that is replaying the story missions. If you do not know how to do this, all you have to do is hit left on your D-pad. Go down to quick, the quick join area. Of course, it will have showdown series, all the other series and stuff in game. But it also will have the story on call. All you have to do is hit select on this. It will show XP on that little image there where the story on call is located. Once you click, uh, uh, click this, you will get thrown into a random group doing story missions. Now, what makes this boring is you may get the same mission over and over, which kind of does suck, but it does give you a good bit of XP. Now, at the end, it will not show your XP on the right like the first time that you completed the story mission, but if you do pay attention to your XP in-game before you start that story mission, you will realize you're getting a good bit. I'm averaging three to 500 every single story mission. So check your XP before you go in, go run, do a story mission, and you can see or check your XP bar again when you're done. You can see how much XP you're gaining from replaying these story missions. Like I said, the one boring part to me is you do get a lot of the same stories over and over. But last but not least, guys, I'm sure most of you know this, and I, it's an okay farming method to me, but if you can get these stranger missions to work correctly, make sure that you do not turn them in to the last about 30 seconds. This game seems to be kind of wanting to slow you down and gaining XP, so the longer it takes you in a mission, the more money, the more gold, the more XP you do seem to gain. Now, is it really worth it? I'm not sure because you could do three or four stranger missions quickly or do one for a long time. I'm not sure what the difference is there. Some of you may know, 
but that is also another method you can use is, is slow some of these missions down and you can do that with some of the story missions as well if you have a group that you are playing with you can do them a little bit slower and not finish them as quick and you will get a little bit more xp i hope you guys enjoy this epic uh exit out of the barn and of course if you'd like to hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace